Hello and uh, welcome to Cheshire Audio. Now I did say I may not have time to do another video but um, I've just had an idea because I've got one of my last jobs to do before I close up. Uh, I've just had some parts through for uh, an Apollo CD player which was skipping and needed a, needs a bit of sorting out. So I thought I'd video this because actually it's, it's a very clever bit of design. Um, I, I, changing the transport on a CD player is quite often a major strip down. It's sort of Quite often can be front panel off. Sometimes it can be the main circuit board out um, to repair them. And I don't tend to do I don't tend to do things like that nowadays. I've, uh, working on my own, I don't really have a lot, a lot of chance to do major jobs. The Apollo, on the other hand, and this applies to pretty much all all Riga CD players, is really easy to do. Um, so I thought I'd video it just because it's a, like I say, it's a very very clever bit of design. This um, typical Riga. So I'll set the camera up and um, see what you think. So here it is, this is about, probably about year 2000, Riga Apollo. Um, very similar design actually to the, new, the one they're making now, to be honest. It's, it's, but the, the new one's obviously in a half size box. But very, very similar. Um, transport is actually all pretty much identical, really, when you take them apart. And um, yeah, great player. I mean, they've been quite long lived, quite, you know, robust players. Um, so I'll, I'm going to set the camera, I've still not set the camera properly yet, but basically, what we're going to be doing is replacing that in here. So we need to don't even have to take the don't even have to take the top cover off to do this. This is like I say it's um, a very clever bit of design. But I'm going to set the camera up and uh, show you what I have to do. Okay, so here we are. That's the this is the transport part here. Uh, and to get it in, all we need is a two mil Allen key. There's two little bolts here, which I'll just I shall just get milk on. That'll try, so I don't lose anything. Just unfasten the Allen keys, Allen, Allen bolts here. Second one. Now it is easy. I mean, there's, there are sort of very fiddly elements to this, but it's partly partly because I'm not very. I, I've got quite a big hand, so it's not that easy to. You need, need smaller hands really for doing this job, but so that's the that's the, the transport out. It's actually braced at this end and then bolted in at that end. So you have to quite carefully that's it. Get your hand in. I shall show you that. And so you can see the the, the ribbon there. Um, we have to de detach the ribbon have to get my hand in in the way of the camera. Just pulls out, and again very carefully, because there's a there's a wire as well. And give it over the other way. Okay, so and there's a little connector block there, which we'll just take out. Actually, I'm just going to stop the camera a second because I've forgotten to do something. Yeah, forgot. Oh, just forgotten to do a put anything between. Not going to scratch it, but I, I get a little bit paranoid about these things. So put something between, just to give just a cushion it a little bit. Uh, so we need to take this this connector out of here. I'll try to. <laughs> Most of these things, when you do them on video, I say that always ten times harder than they're supposed to be. Right, so it's not totally free; it's still connected. I mean, you can disconnect here if you want to. I tend to do this at all in situ. So this is the, this part of the transport. So you can see it's sitting on four little rubber feet and connector from there and a um, ribbon connector from the back of there. So we need to, Riga actually supplied another ribbon. Um, that's always your first port of call actually with a CD player. If, if, if things are skipping, jumping, doing anything weird, Oh, it's always worth checking that out first because that this actually flexes as the, as the laser moves. It sort of moves backwards and forwards like this, so they, they can flex, they can crack, and it's quite it is quite common. Really, and this is something all CD players have, whether the you know top loading type or um, other sorts of draw mechanisms. So yeah, always check those out because if, if there's a, if there's a bit of a, a bad connection in there, it can cause all sorts of weird effects. Somehow. So I'll put. This, actually I won't put this onto here yet, I'll just put that to one side. The only thing you have to watch for with these is, supplied from Riga, these these transports are used in a, f a few different players. 
and there is a little, and I need to find my glasses, um, a little solder point somewhere, like a little, bri little, little bridging point that you have to desolder. And I think, yeah, it's there. Um, there's two, two little connectors soldered together there, which you need to desolder. So I'll do, I'll get that desoldered. Uh, so that it suits the Apollo, and that should do. It should do us with that. So once that's done, I'll then swap across and fit to fit to the sort of head unit. Let's put that back on there. Okay, I'll just warm up my uh, soldering iron, and we'll desolder. Right, let's uh, let's desolder the little joint here. So we did just heating this and then sucking the solder away. And now because I've got, I've actually got this brace, so it might just kick it back when I uh, use the solder sucker on it. So uh, don't be alarmed if it jumps away. Done it. Yeah, it's cleared it. Okay, so we've just got now, now two two little clean contact points there with no solder on. So that's that's done that. Uh, so now we can we can start to fit it. So our first job is to detach the the old mechanism from the frame. Just four screws. To sort of remember the position of these grommets as well because if you there's a couple of options on these grommets as we can mount them so you have to make sure you you put them in the correct place that should be free now let me try again off now but what I'll need to do is take off just to be careful you un unfasten it from it needs to sort of come out of the thing there so we take the grommets off what I tend to do is replace these as we go because otherwise I'll forget where they went so that way around and put onto the wider space at the bottom like that. And that one on like that. <laughs> you know, I can't see you now. That's how that's that way. Uh huh. That's those two. Take off the other two. And just push into the gap, really. And refit these onto here. the ribbon to this first. I must admit the ribbon is the difficult part with this. Um, just check which way up it goes so it's blue to top. So if you look at it that way it goes in that way. So me with my big fingers I'm just going to try and do this that way. Why or why didn't I put my glasses on? Support the light laser because there's a possibility of pushing the laser on its gearing a little bit if you're not too careful. Yep, yeah, that's in. There is a, there is a cap over the laser, by the way, if you're wondering why it looks different. So now that, that's the that connected. Now what I'll do is let's try and feed that through carefully so you don't bend anything. Sits back on its suspension. Just make sure it's seated. Screw it back in. Yeah, Christmas. It's been. Um, it's been quite, it has been quite a busy Christmas this year. It's uh, 
because normally this last week beforehand everything goes quiet but it's it's kept really busy i've been out every night delivering things out tonight fitting a feet of cartridge um possibly out possibly out christmas eve night as well we'll have to see how that goes if this is a, there's a few things like i said still to come But I've sort of made a decision nowadays, I don't open between Christmas and New Year because I think um, all the manufacturers are closed and people are sort of, I don't know, it's, uh, very, very little happens between Christmas and New Year. Then it goes absolutely mad in January, so I sort of need to recoup my energy for then really. Okay, so that's all fitted, just make sure everything's, everything feels right. Yeah, that's, it, that's right. So just refitting the, the opposite way, I'll put this connector on first. Um, can't really do that without obscuring the camera, but little connector block there. Make sure it's pushed in. Now this is the this is the bit I hate, and you probably won't be able to see me struggling with it because I'm oh, my hand will be in the way of the camera. Uh, but it's the only bit that is quite difficult is to well, apart from actually getting it to go back the right angle to go turn around again. Uh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> completely working upside down. That's better. That's better. But this this ribbon needs to connect to a, a locator on the board, and it's a nightmare to get get it in there. So you might have to watch me suffering for a bit. Right, you need to make that light. Make sure that all lines up, and then we'll drop like that. So, but the, you can't do the ribbon with the the transport out. It has to be sort of semi semi in position, really. So let's have a go. So I can do this. Kind of, you're also kind kind of doing it blind. You're trying to push a push a, a ribbon in which is very can be quite fragile. Uh, you're trying to push it into a connector which you can't see the opening on, um, and it's also a, an opening I can't get my hand into. So I got in. You know what? I think that went in. Oh, no, it didn't. <laughs> Why did I say that? I thought that had gone in, but it hadn't. Yeah, that's it. Oh, it's, oh yeah, it's, well, actually, I'm quite impressed there. That went in quite well. So all connected, and just with the light back in, back in again. Like I say, you have to make sure that this locates at the back. Because if you don't, you'll fasten down the front end, and it'll, it'll lift at the back. So that's nice and firm. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, that screw's gone forever. Yeah, it's really simple though. So as long as he's not a complete buffoon and, and managed to lose the, one of the, the the only two screws. Keep going these screws, they actually bolts. Right, that's that. Just put that slack. That's fine with you at the moment. Not helping myself with this short, short stubby Allen key, to be honest. You don't particularly need to over tighten as long as it's just nipped up, it doesn't need to be tight. Some possibility if you did over tighten it you could crack the crack the tray so you don't want to do that. There you go. Finito. I'm done. So yeah like I say very clever bit of design. Um any other player you'd be here I'll be here all afternoon doing that. So yeah really good. Um I suppose we should, should test it really. I'll uh, just find, I haven't got any mains lead. I'll I'll, uh, I'll I'll find a mains lead and we'll we'll connect up. Okay, in theory, ready to go. So, oh yeah, off camera, I've forgotten to take the um, little clip that goes over the, oh, to, to protect the laser, so I've, ta I've taken that off. Um, things wouldn't work well without, really, with that still on. Uh, okay, switch on. Riga Palo. No disc, because there's no disc. So I put in a bit of CD that just clicks on. That's uh, not that it not that it matters. But I always do this. Emilio Harris, um, Wrecking Ball, great album. Not not totally like a lot of her other stuff. There's a lot of. I think it was um, wasn't it produced by the people who who do U2. So it's a it's got for good or bad. It's out, it's got a bit of a U2 y feel to it. But it's um, I think in a, in a good way. Really, it just it, it works it works really well. That's a really nice album. Anyway, sorry, I'm going off. Um, yeah, sorry. Where were we? <laughs> Playing a CD, so close the door. It should say 
initialising. Well, it just boots up everything. Found all the tracks, that's encouraging. First track, so I press play. And we're playing. Repaired. Fantastic. Yeah, I can ring the customer, that's really good. So like I say, yeah, clever bit of design. Um, I don't know why other manufacturers don't do it, but I think probably the way that the replay works, because it's not got a driven drawer, it's not got any, you know, other sort of, like, like I've always said before with Regan, nothing superfluous going on. It's quite easy to make it a little bit more more accessible. Um, so yeah, right. like I say, hope you enjoyed this one. Um, might get a chance to do another one before, another video before I actually close. Um, I've got another, probably if there was an idea, by somebody in the comments, which I might just, I might just do one, another one of those, actually was talking about why don't you, why don't you talk about products that were really, really good, which never really sold, which is quite an interesting comment, to be honest, because there have been things that I thought were brilliant that just never took off. So I might, I, I'm thinking about perhaps doing one of those either to, today, if I get a chance, or tomorrow, because um, I can imagine I'll just be sat waiting for deliveries tomorrow. I can't think that anybody's going to come in, so I might just do it tomorrow. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll finish now because I'm starting to talk rubbish. Um, I'll see you in a future video. Thank you very much. Still working. Still working. <laughs>